This is what it's really like to drive a manual transmission Toyota Tacoma. Cool start. Eh. Okay, today I wanted to take you guys out with me, kind of show you a real world example of driving around in the manual Tacoma. So I'm, I've hopefully I've got the camera set up so you guys can see both the shifter here and of course my feet down there for shifting that's my goal and i know you don't have a great view but you can see the clutch foot right over not here right over here that's what we're going to focus on so this leg here is going to be operating the clutch so here we go first of all reverse reversing the tacoma as i've talked about before is all the way over and all the way up and you might be able to see the screen there but let's, uh, let's back up and get out of here. And we're gonna primarily focus on slower area driving because that's where you get all your shifting, obviously. Once you're cruising down the road at 55, 45, 75, whatever miles an hour, um, you're not gonna really be uh, doing a lot of shifting, right? If you're thinking about buying a manual transmission, and uh, unsure as to how much shifting you want to do or how it really performs or stuff like that then uh, we're gonna we're gonna see here so we're going to second there you can see we're in second now just kind of cruising along and I will do a little bit higher speed because I want you to see how the shift knob uh, reacts not the knob itself but the whole assembly here because you do get a little bit of movement. For it to stop, we gotta go back to first. And this is where I've had issues with it not wanting to go into first sometimes. I don't know why. Um, everybody tells me it's the synchros, a problem with that. Not a problem, but just the way they are. So, from first into second. And a lot of people, or some people anyway, drive by, uh, the RPMs. I'm not an RPM driver. Uh, I drive primarily by sound. So I'm listening to the motor, to the engine. I'm listening to hear how high it revs. And when it gets to a point that I guess I'm used to, uh, that's when I shift. And you can hear it. It's not too loud, just kind of cruising along right here, right? I mean, we're not uh, taxing the motor by any means and we're in third gear at uh, 28 miles an hour. So now we're gonna speed up a little bit. You guys will be able to hear the engine come up a little, I think. We're at 35, no real reason to be in a higher gear here. Let's make a turn and this is gonna be a little faster. Downshifting to second, uh, generally on any turn, uh, you're gonna wanna downshift probably into second gear got to watch your speed on this road they do uh, monitor this road for some reason but we're cruising along right now at 33 miles an hour in third gear the speed limit here is 30 my speedometer's off about depending on your speed two to three to four mile an hour so I'm probably going about 34 All right here we go we're gonna run up to 55 I could just travel in fourth gear, definitely in fifth gear, um, at 55 miles an hour. We're going about 55 now. Um, but you've got fifth and sixth. Fifth is a great gear in this truck. It's, it's pretty long, uh, so you can run at lower and higher speeds in fifth gear. Same thing with fourth. I think the sweet spot in this truck probably is uh, fourth gear. I'm pulling up to a stoplight. I'm, well, now we've got a green, so I will downshift to make the turn. You could do it in third. I usually do it in second, unless I'm really taking that turn fast. So we're in second gear now. We're at the 50, 50 mile an hour zone. So up into third gear, obviously from second. Down to fourth. Or up to fourth, depending on your perspective, I guess. We're cruising at 43, this is gonna become a, th let's see, 
looks like a 50 mile an hour zone here in just a minute so we'll speed up again i don't really need to shift it will certainly handle 50 miles an hour in fourth gear we're at 45 now uh, we are going to drop here in a second and we're going to have some more uh, lower speeds and turning uh, to kind of run down through the lower gears again If you can hear the motor, that's about as high as I like to take it as far as in the RPM range, at least in the low gears. Uh, before I shift, it really sounds like it's starting to, uh, to crank, and I don't like to go much higher than that. Because um, I just don't want to put that much wear on the motor, I guess. No reason why you can't. Cruising along here, we're in a 35, and I'm running uh, third gear. And in a second, we're going to get in a higher speed limit. And then we're going to run in uh, fourth to fifth, probably all the way to sixth. Now, you could go to fourth here. I mean, there's fourth gear. Uh, no reason you can't run in fourth gear at 30 some miles an hour. But the only problem with doing that, if you need to get more power, let's say that, I don't know, you needed to get away or around from somebody. You're not gonna have a lot of get up and go because you're really in the low end of that gear and uh, the, the truck's not gonna really take off, you know, if you give it a if you give it gas going in fourth gear at 35 miles an hour. So keep that in mind. I can get down to third. And then I've got a lot more oof, a lot more takeoff once I give it the gas. But now we're in a 50 mile an hour zone, so we are definitely gonna go to fourth. So now we're gonna take a stop, go back to first. Now we're gonna run all the way to sixth. Almost missed a gear. See, we're at 50 miles an hour now, we just went to fourth gear. Speed limit out here is 55. Um, I could stay in fourth. You can hear the engine kind of revving a little bit. It's not bad. I'm not really taxing the motor too much at 53 and uh, actually probably about 56 mile an hour in fourth gear. But we're going to run up to fifth. Our guy changing a flat tire over there. That sucks. And now we'll go to sixth just to cruise. In sixth gear. Really, I think in the Tacoma is really more just about cruising. Um, you know, you'd use it on the freeway or whatever. If you're just going to be kind of driving along at the higher speed, um, if you're on a trip or something or whatever, uh, six gear is just really the cruising gear. And now, one thing I wanted to show you guys, I'm thinking about it, we're cruising along at about 55. You can see there's a little bit of bounce in the shifter. For anybody who's not familiar with the manual transmission, you know, I've never had any shifter that doesn't move, you know, it is going to bounce around. It does seem to be more uh, prevalent or extreme, I think, in the Tacoma. You do get a little bit more bouncing in here and it's, it's almost like everything underneath is a little bit looser or something. So just something to keep in mind. You don't really have a problem. It's really just kind of the way it is. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here and kind of show you guys a little bit of uh, driving around, what it's like to drive around in a manual transmission Tacoma. Uh, it's a blast to drive. I love having it. Uh, I had missed having a manual transmission a lot, and now I can get my fix uh, whenever I want to have it here, and it is awesome. Not the smoothest transmission in the world, but not the worst I've ever driven either. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Do you have a manual transmission? Do you even know how to drive a manual transmission? I'd be curious to know how many of y'all out there do. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Hey, real quick, if you haven't and you want to, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motion, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.